Glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello, brothers. Hello, sisters in Christ. Welcome back to my channel. I hope all is well with you in the Lord. So people of God, I'm in the car. <laughs> By request, I am going to start recording back in my car again. A lot of you have been saying, Shanika, what happened to those back in the day videos where you used to minister to us in your car? We really enjoyed that space, right? And actually it's better for me to record in the car because it's more private, not necessarily without noise because I'm outside, but it just gives me that place to be private and transparent with you guys when I'm releasing the word of the Lord, if I need to be, right? So I'm back, y'all. I'm gonna be here for a little while. I don't know how long, but I'm back. <laughs> So people of God, I was led to come on to release a prophetic word as well as a word of encouragement to my brothers and sisters in Christ today, because the Lord just really been talking to me and ministering to me. And he says, you know, many of my beloved children, my sons and daughters are losing hope concerning the promises that I have given them. This is what the Lord said to me. He says, there is a loss of hope concerning promises that he has given to you. Amen. But before I release the word from the Lord today, people of God, you all know my stance, right? Don't come to me. Go to God. He has your answers. I am just the messenger. And remember, it is your responsibility to show yourselves approved by seeking God's counsel through his word, right? Going to him in prayer and allowing for him to speak to your spirit from the scriptures, allowing for him to respond to you in your spirit. And of course, you all know the Bible says in 1 John chapter 4, what to test the spirit behind all prophetic messages that you hear before you receive them from somebody, okay? Anybody that prophesies to you, anybody that's teaching you something, anything that is said to you that requires for you to take some kind of an action, you should be testing the spirit, amen? And I also have a video in the description box below that I believe will help to give you some tips on how to approach God concerning today's word. Amen. Getting back to what the Lord was speaking to my spirit today, the Lord says that some of you have lost hope because of what your situation is looking like right now, because of how that other person is responding to you or is not responding to you. Some of you are losing hope or have lost hope because of what somebody else said, okay? What somebody else spoke over your life, amen? And as a result, you feel as though your promise is not coming. Some of you have lost hope concerning marriages or the integrity of that potential kingdom spouse that the Lord had shown you. God says that some of you have lost hope concerning that health condition or that living arrangement, right? That promise of a house or maybe even your financial circumstances, amen? But this is what the Lord said to me today. He said, Shanika, I want you to remind them of what a promise is. So I want you to remind them of what I mean when I give them a promise. So the Lord began to speak and he said, beloved, a promise is a declaration by me, the Lord, your God, that something is going to happen in your life. A promise is something that is guaranteed to my people, says the Lord. Somebody says, well, Shanika, how is this possible? How can I know that God is speaking the truth? Because God is faithful and God cannot lie. And anyone that receives insight, listen, people of God, of a promise from God can have full assurance that God is going to do what he said he was going to do. Without a shadow of a doubt, the promise will come to pass in your life. Do you hear what I'm saying? So what is God saying to you today, child of God? What is the prophetic word for you in this hour, right? That is connected to the promises that have been given to you by God. The Lord says, listen carefully, people of God. God says, your promises are not empty, but they are yes and amen, says the Lord. The Bible says, for all the promises of God in him are yes and amen to the glory of God through us. God says he's not like a man. He doesn't operate in the flesh where the people give you empty promises, where the people 
give you false hope, where they tell you lies to keep you connected to them, where they attach themselves to you only to use you, says the Lord. God says he's not a counterfeit. He's not an illusion. He's not a game. He's not that frenemy or that envious individual that is in your life, in your circle of friends, in your family, waiting to deceive you, says the Lord. But God says he's alpha, he's omega, he's king of kings and lord of lords, and his word, listen, will not return to him void, says God. God says, sons and daughters, I go before you and I will be with you and I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will never lie to you. So be not discouraged or afraid of when your promise will come, says the Lord. God says that some of you have gotten off track and you have allowed the enemy to redefine your promises. You have allowed the enemy to minimize your promises. You've allowed the enemy to misconstrue your promise. You've allowed the enemy to distort your promises or to lie to you concerning your promises, says the Lord. And as a result, I, the Lord, your God, has to redirect your mindset concerning your promises, says the Lord. God says, sons and daughters, stay away from the influences and distractions in your life that lead you away from what I said and wait on me to bring your promises to pass, says the Lord. God says, some of the people that you are sharing your information with, that you are surrounding yourselves with, are sabotaging your promises with the wrong information, or because they are jealous of your promises, or because they are relaying their personal opinions that have nothing to do with the structure of the promises that God has given you, says the Lord. God also says that some of you are allowing outer influences, such as what you see on TV, such as your social media outlets, right? To deteriorate your faith and belief that your promises will ever come to pass, says the Lord. Brothers and sisters, God is saying that many of you need to revisit your promises and bring them before the Lord. Why? Because God wants to breathe new life into your promises and give you new direction concerning them, okay? The Lord says, for those of you that belong to him, and you have been obedient to his leading and guiding, God says your promises are never, ever void. They are never empty, but they are yes and amen, says the Lord. Praise God. So that is the word from the Lord today, people of God. All I have to say is listen to the Lord. I encourage you to take your promises back to the throne. Give it to God so he can re ignite them so he can breathe life into them and also allow for the Lord to show you those things that are in your life that are discouraging you from believing that God's word is true. Whatever is discouraging you from believing that your promises are going to come to pass, the Lord says to come to him come to him and he will get you back into alignment, okay, with his will for your life. Amen. So before I get off of here, let us say a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we thank you, Lord, that you love us more than we love our own selves. We thank you, Lord, for this prophetic word. We thank you, Lord, for this word of encouragement, Lord God. It's such a wonderful thing to have a father, to have a Lord, a savior that cares about us so much so that he gives us insight into those things that are happening in our lives that are detrimental to your promises, detrimental to your blessings, detrimental to anything that you want to release into our lives that will benefit us and our families. Father, we pray that you will never leave us nor forsake us. We pray, Lord God, that you will continue Continue to lead us and guide us by your spirit. We pray, Lord God, that you will continue to dispatch the angels, Lord God, to surround the perimeters of our homes, our jobs, our children's schools, our areas of, of dwelling, Lord God, for protection and also, Lord God, to be in position to be ministered to by you. Father, Lord God, we ask that you will lead and guide us in all the ways that we should go. Father, we thank you for what you are doing in our lives and what you are about to do. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray, amen and amen.
men. So people of God, remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. I love you guys. And I hope that you have a blessed, blessed day. Okay, bye.